Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is Hasbro IDW San Diego Comic-Con 2017 Exclusive Revolution Box Set. This 2017 Comic-Con exclusive box set is chock full of characters from a variety of Hasbro toy lines that were featured in the 2016 IDW Comics five-issue series called Revolution, which places them all in a shared universe conceived of by me and every kid who has ever touched any action figures anytime ever. Revolution spun off into several individual one-shots and tie-ins as IDW's Hasbro Universe was born. All your favorites are here in the box set. G.I. Joe, Transformers, Micronauts, Mask, Action Man, Rom, and Visionaries. That's right, Rom and Visionaries. Rom and Visionaries. You ever say a word too many times and now you're like, is that even a word? It doesn't sound right anymore. Vision? Aries? The box itself has some fantastic wraparound artwork by Jack Herbert and is nearly 24 inches tall by 15 inches wide. To give you some context, I am 6 feet 4 inches tall or just over 1.9 meters. This is way smaller than me, stupid box. <laughs> Unlike me, though, this box gatefolds open to reveal a bit of the backstory in four different languages on the left and your new toy collection on the right. A wonderful presentation for those of you who like to keep your stuff in the box, but also cool for openers like me because Hasbro made it so that you can put everything right back in the box when you're done playing and or photographing. G.I. Joe is represented by Roadblock, who's been one of the faces of G.I. Joe since he was portrayed by Dwayne The Rock Johnson in G.I. Joe Retaliation back in 2013. This Roadblock design in particular, however, is based on the animated series G.I. Joe Renegades that ran from 2010 to 2011, and even though they made several figures based on that series, they never released Roadblock. It's like having the A-Team without B.A. Baracus. That would be foolish, and you would be a fool whom would be deserving of a fair amount of pity. Transformers is represented by a repaint of Generations Leader Class Jetfire originally released in 2014. Action Man is represented by the newly updated design of Action Man. Action Man is the UK version of G.I. Joe, basically. Admittedly, that's an all too brief history. He's deserving of a bit more in-depth explanation, but basically he's an adventurer who has his origin as G.I. Joe figures rebranded by Palatoy in the UK, and now with more emphasis on the adventure and international super agent parts, he's G.I. James Bond. Micronauts are represented by nine tiny little non-posable figures that would fit right in with your hero clicks, including Acro Year, Biotron, Oberon, Quintilus, Finola Pi, I don't know how it's pronounced, Xant, Gamatron, Baron Karza, and Betatron, who I cannot believe took the last spot from VHSatron. Mask is represented by one of my personal top four favorite figures of all time, Matt Tracker. Other than the helmet and harness, this is a completely new build and paint deco from the figure that was released in 2008. I like the new body construction, but I still hate that helmet and shoulder pad set and that dog collar style set of straps. I'm not surprised they recycled it, I'm just disappointed. And let's not forget that the reason Mask is included in this set at all is due to the purchase of Kenner by Hasbro back in 1991 as part of their acquisition of Tonka, which also brought them ROM. Rom is represented by Rom, because what else would you put in here? Rom's not a team, he's just one guy. But there's also a Dire Wraith figure, sort of mid-transformation. Rom fought against Dire Wraiths back in the original Marvel Comics series back in the 80s and hasn't given up the fight. I don't want to admit that I didn't read all of IDW's Revolution comics, but here we are. This figure looks like it was disguised as Duke, but I'll have to leave that up to you to tell me in the comments if there's something that actually happened in the books, because I couldn't find it on Google. Visionaries are back, you guys! You two collectors out there who've been eagerly awaiting their return. Did you get your 2016 SDC Leoric Mighty Mug? Hasn't been a lot of Visionary stuff in the last 30 years, but these last two years, whew, this has been insane, right? Visionaries are represented by Leoric and his 80s baseball player mustache. No hologram, but he's got hollow foil, and that's pretty close. Close enough. His magic staff doesn't really fit in his hand, and the hips have some weird engineering issues, and his helmet doesn't stay on his head, but at least he's in scale with G.I. Joe this time around. Look, I bust some chops here and there, but I sincerely love Visionaries, Rom, maybe not Rom, Mask, G.I. Joe, all of these properties, and the fact that this set exists is like someone reached into my brain and pulled this stuff out and then sold it back to me. Despite a few minor engineering issues, I am happy to receive this degree of fan service from a company that I really should have invested in a long time ago because too many of my physical assets are tied to it as it is. 
With a shared Hasbro Universe movie series in development and causing me to make this face right now, but only out of sheer terror about what that might look like based on my personal distaste for the Transformers and G.I. Joe movies, and a sequel to IDW's revolution called First Strike hitting comics shelves right now in August of 2017, I can honestly say I'm looking forward to where Hasbro is going with this and open for the best. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe, share this video. If you're in the position to help out, please help the channel grow. Visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash toygalaxy and let us know in the comments below what your dream set would have had in it. I have some emails queued up to Hasbro to find out why Centurions weren't included in this. Seems like a natural fit, but you know what they say about Power Extreme, right? It, could, <laughs> it corrupts powerfully and is totally radical also. <laughs> who, wrote, who wrote this stuff? <laughs>